Hey, yo, in case you're wondering what is the best part of working as an EMT slash paramedic, stay tuned to this video. I'm going to break it down to you. Check it out. So on numerous occasions, I've had subscribers ask me, what is the best part? What do you enjoy the most about being an EMT? And in this video, I'm going to break down to you what are the top parts or what is the, in my opinion, in no specific order, what is the best part of becoming and being and working as a paramedic? And just to give you some context, I'm a medical doctor who continues to work on the ambulance dis despite the fact that I'm able to work inside of the hospital and provide hospital, hospital care to patients. I'd rather be working as the infantry of medicine in pre-hospital care medicine. And just a quick note, a lot of people disagree with the term infantry of medicine. I coined it myself, if I'm not mistaken, but if you look at the definition, infantry is foot soldiers. We're the foot soldiers for the medicine. We're the ones on foot in the streets knocking on people's door. EMS, what are the top reasons for being an EMS provider? Basically, number one, in no specific order is the patient care, the fulfillment that you get from helping somebody and saving their life. I'll give you an example. Your genetic composition is made for you to like the things that are made better for the earth and better for yourself and better for your survival. For example, when you have sexual intercourse with a person, you're naked, you're vulnerable, you're exchanging bodily fluids, but you enjoy it because there's procreation to be had, survival of the fittest. So part of helping someone comes with the satisfaction that is wired within our software, within our DNA to help the next person. So the fact that you're able to do it for a living to help someone, whether it's saving them from a fire if you're a paramedic slash firefighter or just a paramedic like myself who happens to just work in new york city where there is no duality of fire and ems response but at the same time i still get to tap into that feeling of helping someone whether it's helping them from having a heart attack or recognizing the heart attack and, and treating it accordingly or just giving someone a pillow splint for a sprained ankle. No matter what it is, the satisfaction that you get is one of the best parts. The next part about it is seeing the kids. When you drive around lights and sirens, for me personally, especially when I'm in the passenger seat and kids are coming out of school, I'm very attentive. Don't want to hit any kids jumping in front of the ambulance when they're in front, when they're chasing a ball or whatnot. But the best part about it is, especially in Hasidic Jewish communities, you see these kids, they look up at the ambulance like we're superheroes, like we're gods. They're very impressed by what we do and how we do it. And some adults are as well. So to me, I love to see the light in their eyes, the way they look when they see us doing our jobs. It's very, very invigorating for me. The next thing is the lights and the sirens, the adrenaline rush that you get from driving around lights and sirens, especially in the city of New York. I mean, like, as a paramedic in New York City, man, sometimes I, I go over the, the FDR and I'm looking at the Brooklyn Bridge, the Manhattan Bridge. I'm passing through Times Square, lights and sirens, and people die to live in the city. And yet we're over here working in the city while driving around lights and sirens, running red lights with due regard, watching out for pedestrians, but at the same time enjoying the benefit of going the lights and sirens and the adrenaline rush of driving around and reaching a scene and the camaraderie that you have. That's the other point where I get to reach and would like to mention that there's a lot of camaraderie between EMS members, between first responders, firefighters, and police officers. And I would love to have, and I enjoy having camaraderie with people that I look up to, with people that I can respect. Because when I was in medical school, there was no camaraderie. When I was in medical school and becoming a doctor, there was a lot of backstabbing, a lot of that stuff going on. But when you're on the ambulance, when you're providing patient care, when you're a first responder and you're putting your life at risk, for the public and the well-being of the public, the other people who are doing the same thing kind of see eye to eye with you and we look out for each other. Even if you don't know who we are, if you're calling for help, we're going to show up and we're going to show out. The next thing I want to say is the flexibility. 
the flexibility of working as a paramedic is awesome because you can work days, you can work nights, you can work whenever you want. In my case, I work two to three shifts a month whenever I feel like it. I'm per diem. I work on call at these different ambulance companies in New York City, and I get to make my own schedule, which is really awesome. There's a lot of flexibility as far as what you can do and how you can do it and what level you do it. You can become a CC paramedic, uh, uh, a special event paramedic, a flight paramedic, all these type of things you can be doing, which is pretty awesome. I got my notes right here. And last but not least, the weather, man, especially in the summertime. I love the way we're able to be one with the elements. I hate to be indoors. One of the things that used to get me when I used to work inside of the hospital as a doctor was that there was no windows, especially in the ICU, especially in the ER. There was barely any sunshine coming in. All you had was these fluorescent lights shining on you. But when you work as a paramedic, especially in the summertime, you get to enjoy the weather. When it's raining, you get to enjoy the rain. When it's snowing, you get to enjoy the snow. So again, you got the patient care aspect, you got the, 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 the kids looking at you, how excited they are to see you doing your job, the lights, the sirens, the scenic routes that you could be taking, the weather, the camaraderie, and the flexibility, man. I hope this video helped you. And if you have any questions on what it is to be a paramedic, if you have any questions on how to be a better paramedic, my links are down below. Click on any one of them. They'll help you out for sure. Check out the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. There's like 300 videos. This channel has reached over 1.5 million people worldwide. And I'm going to continue to give you guys stuff that I can feel that are going to help you on your road, on your journey, on your career path. And if there's anything else I could do, just comment down below. Let me know. I got you. Hey, yo, whether you're providing basic life support or advanced life support, your EMS providers need to be the best they can be for the patients that rely on them. That's why I created this book, Learn How to Be a High Level EMT and take it from me. I've been on the bus for almost 20 years and I'm also a medical doctor. I made this book for you. I hope it helps. Check it out. The link is down below.